Unfortunately, you get no points for guessing what we're here for today, and it's got something to do with table tennis, undoubtedly, but apparently it's got a new name. It's now called Ping. We're here for Ping Brighton and Hove, which launches today, and it's here for four weeks. We've got 36 tables throughout the city. Earlier, I spoke to Pauline Freestone from Brighton and Hove City Council, who's in charge of organising the event, and she said it wasn't such a big deal to close such a busy street in the middle of Brighton on a Friday night. You petition, make a petition to the highways team, and then visit all the businesses and the people in the locality and get their agreement and then you're set to go. Table tennis is something I'm sure not a lot of people actively seek but when it's put in front of you like this. People are queuing to go on the tables every evening, every day. Um, how is this being funded? So the money's come from Sport England but we recognise it's a national project but then we can bring it down to an absolute local level by delivering it with the city's clubs. My phone's already been ringing, and emails and you know just just changes the profile of it really and the image and everyone wants to play. Everyone's been talking about it. Everyone's been saying, oh, I saw the tables on the level. Did, um, when did table tennis become ping? I think the ETTA, the English Table Tennis Association, are trying to make it a bit more groovy. But this, of course, we're now six days on from when I first saw you last Saturday at the launch of Take Part. And we're famous as a cultural city, mm -hmm. but, you know, we, we have a great football team, a football club, I should say, a great cricket club, very good athletics run and all sorts of other sports. We need to show people that we're a sporting city as well as a cultural one and that we involve everybody in everything that we do. You mentioned that we were at Take Part for Preston Park on yeah. Saturday. You were playing table tennis there as well. You actually look like you're pretty good at table tennis. You played before? I, I used to play in a league when I was a kid, yeah. yeah. It shows. Well done. Thank you. OK, so I'm now here with the winner of the New Road Ping Pong Playoff. How did it feel beating the mayor, Harry? Beating the mayor is if anybody do beat the mayor, I want you to win this round. I know about the town. But you were playing some serious shots, like you're an expert. Do you play table tennis much? Yes, I do play table tennis. Yes, I have. I, I played before at my rush by chair at a big house in Hove. Wicked. And have you had fun today? Yes, I have, yes. What's this day like today, the ping tournament, going to mean for your table tennis club, Brighton Table Tennis Club? Um, well, the best thing about this is that Sport England have given us 20,000 quid to buy all the equipment. It's going to be out for a month, and then if it works, in certain locations it can stay, but the clubs basically get to decide where the tables go afterwards. So as you can see, the look is now complete, which is more than can be said for my ability with a table tennis bat, albeit I did have a massive hole in the paddle, so excuses are, are plenty. Now, judging by how successful today's been, Ping looks like it's here to stay, replaced table tennis forever and a day, and I'm sure it'll be back next year.